Hello Scorpio, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Tarot Illuminati by Eric C. Dunn. Supportive Oracle cards, the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. Finally found the deck, and I want to use it, so I'm going to use it. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio? This deck. Okay, I think that's all we need for them. Okay. Starting off, Nine of Wands, Ten of Cups. I like the Ten of Cups. Okay. I'm a big fan of Ten of Cups. Whatever the group is you're dealing with, could be family, could be friends, could be co workers, you've been holding things together. Scorpio is very strong, and if you've decided you're not going to call something out, or you're not going to, like, if, you, if you've decided you're going to handle something a certain way, let's do that, then you will do that. If you've decided that's what you're going to do, um, it's kind of like nobody's going to tell you you need to do this and you're going to do this, because I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> but if you decide for yourself, like, all right, the situation... I'm just not going to mention these little things. There's little things going on here that I don't like, and there's that going on over there that I've said stuff before. It doesn't seem to matter and certainly doesn't help. So I'm just not going to. I'm just not going to. I've decided I'm not. I'm just, I'm not. I'm not saying that's a permanent feeling you have. I'm saying in this moment, you're just like, I'm just not. I'm just, whatever it is, because I see the werewolf in the environment. Like something's going off here. Something is not really okay but it's kind of like, I feel like you've tried to fix it and handle it, but it's almost like the more you try to fix it, the worse it gets. And it's really like, all right, I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of putting in the effort to try to fix something, and it just does not make it better. So I've just decided for everybody to get along, at least for me to get along, I'm just going to let the people who that, I'm going to let those people do what they need to do. Um, so I feel like I'm holding the line. I'm just kind of like, as long as you stay off my lawn, I'm not going to mess with you. Because every time I try to fix this situation, it just seems to blow up in my face and other people's as well. And I don't want more, I don't need any more stress and I'm certainly not looking to cause stress for people I care about just because this one person over here is a jerk. Not going to do it. So I've decided I'm not going to say anything just because there's other people I care about and them being happy means more to me than calling this jerk out. Okay. That's what I've decided. Okay. I don't know if that's a permanent energy, but that's what I'm feeling there. And that werewolf energy is kind of like, it's just, just, it's like, it's not really subject to reason. It just does what it wants to do. Barm Brack, because Barm Brack bread. This is a very, uh, like, this is very interesting because this is like, I believe it's a Samhain tradition, if I remember right. Because uh, I know I've, I've had it at Samhain before. And I think if you look in the book, it, it talks about Samhain. I am definitely an intuitive reader. But what I'm getting from this is kind of like there's gifts coming from this situation. By you kind of holding back at this time, there's a lot of gifts coming out of this. People seem to be noticing. I feel like people are noticing you not trying to control it for whatever reason. And I feel like they're realizing if they didn't realize before, like when you get involved and try to control this situation, it just, it, it seems to keep it more confined. It seems to make it better for them. And it's almost like it may be somebody who maybe gave you a hard time or something like, why can't you just leave that alone? And you're like, fine, I will. And now that you are, they're like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Because when, when the Scorpio was dealing with it, the rest of us, we didn't have to deal with it as much. But now that the Scorpio is not, that the jerk just seems to be getting worse. And if the Scorpio's not going to say something, because we told the Scorpio, you know, why can't you just stay out of it? And now the Scorpio's like, fine, and they are. And now they're realizing, uh-oh, <laughs> maybe that wasn't our best move. Maybe we shouldn't have given the Scorpio a hard time. Maybe we should have actually backed the Scorpio. Maybe we should have. It's a little too late for that, but hey. Um, something's going on in the environment. 
because I'm getting the devil card with the hanged man, kind of like, you're not saying anything. It's almost like the reason you're say not saying anything is because other people were complaining about it. And you're like, oh, you don't want my help? Okay, then you don't, okay, no, fine. I'll step right out. I'll step right out. You handle that. Go ahead. All right, you think that's fine. Fine, I don't handle it well. I make it worse. Okay, I'll just, I'll step right out. I will step, I'm feeling like offended, like that somebody told me, oh, you don't, oh, you don't think, you think I'm making it worse. I'm the reason it's a bad thing. Good. You deal with the jerk. We'll see where that goes. Okay, good luck. Because I feel like I'm really annoyed, like that somebody had the nerve to say that to me. Um, and the devil card is coming in with the hanged man. Whoever this jerk is, because I keep feeling like it's a person, like they're a jerk. They're causing all these problems and you're not doing a thing about it. And then these other people really don't like it. They don't have the guts to come to you and say something about it. But they seem they don't seem to be handling it very well themselves either. And they're like learning the hard way, like should have supported the Scorpio, should not have given the Scorpio a hard time. Um, because I often tell people like you don't want to tick off a Scorpio because they are very strong and they don't forget. Um so it's just not like they scorpions have that tail like I'm saying it doesn't mean you have to get smacked in the face with it but you you may have been protected by that tail and not realize like the scorpio doesn't just attack people the scorpio defends sometimes with that tail and maybe you were defending people and they're complaining the way you were doing it to doing it to doing it and now that you're not doing it now oh now we see the vampire is here and it says emotional intelligence but when I feel the vampire energy it's very shifty for me because I almost feel like I'm getting like people trying to like goad you in and trying to get you trying to get you to get back in there and do something about it. But you're not. You're like, I don't know who you think you're kidding. I don't know who you think you're fooling. You said I was the problem. So I just I don't want to be the problem. So you go ahead. No, you go ahead, you fix it. I don't want to be the problem. I don't want to be the problem. I'm feeling that with the Scorpio energy. Like, you said I was the problem. I don't want to be the problem. I'm, I'm staying out of it. And they're not coming forward to you and, like, flat out saying, you know, we were wrong. I don't see that coming out either. I don't know if that would really... I don't know. Even if they did, you know, I don't know. I don't know how that would go. You've got three cards on your side. Strength, eternal love, and the veil. Uh, skeleton is actually the strength one. Eternal love and the veil. This is how they were on your side. I just feel like you know what's going on, but you're just not getting involved. And it's smart of you to do so. It takes a lot of strength. You kind of want to, but you're kind of like, you know what, I need people to realize, you know, I, I need people to see my value. I need to see people to, like, appreciate me a little bit more. So I guess if they need to struggle to figure that out, then they need to struggle to figure that out. Um, and then this last one is eternal love. The thing is... Whoever gave you a hard time, the catch-22 of this is you do care about them. Um, and I think that's why you, when I'm feeling this energy, if this is really hitting, that's why you were offended. Because you do care about them. And like, really? You think, really? Like, you think I'm the problem? Oh, okay. I'll step out. You handle it. Good luck. I mean, you clearly think you can do it better. Cool. Cool. I got other things I got to do anyway. It's fine. Um, I'm really feeling that offended feel. You see what's happening. You do care about these people, but it's taking a lot of strength to stay out of it. But you're like, no, they need to appreciate what I've done for them. And if they don't really want my help, I'm not going to give it. I'm, I need them to see. I need them to see that not only do they want my help, they need my help. Because <laughs> I'll stay right out of it. I'll stay right out of it. Um, I keep feeling that. It's very interesting to me. Because it's kind of like, you know... You're offended, and you're, you're kind of like, it has a little bit of vindication, a little bit of vindictive energy there, but it's also like you do care, but you're like, you need, you, it's like, I need you to see the truth, that you should appreciate me more. You shouldn't give me a hard time about, you know, taking care of things that you don't want to take care of, because somebody doesn't want to take care of it, and you're like, well, see what it's like when you have to take care of it all on your, all on your own. Because you're strong. Like it, it's, it's almost like people don't realize your strength is very... Like, not everybody has that strength. Not everybody has that strength. It's just... It's not common. It's just not. Um, Ten of Swords crosses the Two of Cups. <laughs> it's kind of like that where they say that saying, like, somebody has to eat crow. It's 
kind of like that. They have to admit that they were wrong before you're going to step in again. And even then, it's not really guaranteed that you're going to, and they know that. Because they can come to you and say, I was wrong and I'm sorry. And you can be like, ah, okay. Yeah, I know. You're wrong. I know you're wrong. Like, <laughs> I feel like, again, I'm feeling you're offended. Like, I don't see you being, like, really snide about it, but you might agree. Like, oh, yeah, I know. I knew you were wrong. Yeah, I knew that. It's nice for you to say so. Yeah, I, but I agree. Yeah, you were wrong. I knew. I always knew you were wrong. Like, like you, you, like, you knew that way beforehand. Like, okay, yeah, that's why I backed off so you could see that you were wrong. Yeah, I know you're wrong. I just, I don't, I don't know. It's not coming, I don't think when you're saying it's coming off snide, but I feel like I'm saying it very snide in this moment, so I'm trying to equate it better. Um, the thing is, you do care about this person. I'm feeling whoever it is, you do care about them. So I feel like they're saying, can you please help us, or can you do something? Like somebody's saying, can you please help us? Can you help us? Um, they need you to help stabilize the situation. And I feel like when you're coming back with them in this Ten of Swords and this Two of Cups, it's kind of like, listen, I help, I'll help, but you're going to fight this fight. I'll stand with you. I won't fight for you on my own, but I'll stand with you and I'll back you up on things. So if you want to take care of it and you need some support, you need some emotional support, I'll be there with you. I'll stand with you, but you're still fighting it. I'm not going to get in there and fight it for you anymore. No. I'll give you pointers, I'll stand with you so you don't have to be afraid of whatever you're afraid of. Because people get intimidated sometimes, you know, even if it's just a verbal fight, people get intimidated. And you're like, I'll stand there with you, but I'm not fighting it for you anymore. So I'll help you, but you're going to do the work, and I'll back you up. I feel like that's how this is coming in. Because you got a lot of pentacles at the end here, a lot of pentacles. A lot of stabilizing the situation. you got... The Knight of Pentacles in the environment, Six of Pentacles, and the Princess of Pentacles in the actual moment as it's happening. And on your side, you have two cards. One is the Five of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're standing with this person and you're making them fight it themselves. You are standing with them, though. You're helping them, but you're like, I'm not going to lead the way on this. I refuse. No, you need to fight this. I'll, I'll help you. And they're doing what they need to do. They're controlling it the way they want to. It's very stressful, but it's on them. The situation is stabilizing. With the Six of Pentacles especially, but I'm getting it's a slow process. It takes a while to really calm down and get where it needs to be, right? On your side, you got the Five of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. At first, you're like, I don't even know if this is worth it. Should I just take over? Because I don't even know if this is worth it because worth it, it's aggravating. It's aggravating to try to help somebody fix it instead of just doing it yourself. And you're just like, if I just do it myself, it just it, it just goes so so much quicker. It's a little frustrating. It's it's hard to be patient with it. But I'm getting if you're able to and you just keep supporting them and saying, you got to do it. You do it. You fix it. I'll support you. I'll guide you. I'll stand with you. But I won't lead you. I will not. I refuse. It will stabilize and the situation will calm down and go a lot easier. I feel like that'll be a lot easier for you. It's a lot less you have to deal with in the long run. And I feel like it won't be a situation that you constantly have to police, for example. But you just might have to show your support and just show up here and there now and then and just back up whoever, whatever they're doing. Um, I feel like this works a lot better for you in the long run. I feel like that's a lot healthier for you. And you're able to free up your time and do other things instead of fighting somebody else's battle, which whatever this is, I just feel like you're... You're cultivating more strength in that person. And I feel like you're giving yourself a break at the same time. And the only frustration I'm getting is kind of like watching them go through the pains of realizing or figuring out how they have to do it. And just kind of feeling like if I just go in there and fix it, that this doesn't have to be this big of a deal. Like I can just shortcut this. If I was going to do it, I would just go in there, clean house, and that would be that. But you got to let them slowly figure it out, slowly do it their own way. It's just, it can be a little bit frustrating to watch, but it's better over the long term. It's a lot better for you, a lot more healthy for you, a lot better for this person. This person definitely respects you more and understands more of the energy it takes to deal with difficult people <laughs> and how to successfully get them to back off. And they're realizing how much energy that really takes, and they're learning a lot of respect from this situation. It's very, very healthy for them. It's very, very healthy for you. 
and that's where I see this going. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.